Okay, before we start digitizing, we might want to uh, set up a number of options, uh, particularly in respect of how objects snap. Now, we can see here, but if we click onto the snapping, we can choose a number of different layers, of each of these effect layers. I also like to enable topological editing, even though I, I've not really seen it happening at the moment. And we can change the way that we can do snapping within these um, different layers. So we can snap to a segment or we can snap to a vertex. Now a vertex is a node or a digitized point uh, in a whole sequence of points. And a segment is the line between those points. So for a point area, you should have no segments. It still lets us choose a segment, but you shouldn't have segments on a point. Now, for a polygon, you might want to have vertex and segments. For a polyline, you might want to have vertex and segments. I would tend to go for segments for all of them, and I will explain. That will become hopefully apparent a little bit later on. Um, so I would choose vertex rather for all of them. That's silly of me. Uh, and that will become apparent a little bit later on, but we'll keep a segment in for the polygon and you'll see why. We can also change the tolerance. Now, our map units are in meters, um, or we could also deal with pixels. Now, I would work here on the basis of five meter map units, but these tolerances pretty much vary depending upon the scale that you're digitizing at. So, you need to have a little bit of trial and error based upon the, your scale of digitizing. If you're digitizing at full screen, uh, sorry, full resolution, say the Landsat footprint, uh, which is whatever, uh, 80 odd kilometers square, um, you'll want to have a high, a larger tolerance number. If you're looking at within a kilometer square area, say from some QuickBird or some GOI, you want a smaller tolerance. Area. So it depends upon your digitizing.